Welcome back to Saturday Night Racing. It's the Max Coates Clear Cup brought to you by Next Gen. So the host is just sending out the invites this week, coming from Osher Slaben. It's lay the B layout of the course, so short this. If you've been with us throughout the seasons as well, you'll recognise this from last season. Should prove some very close racing throughout on this one. NGR Edu, where's NGR Edu? Might not be racing tonight. He's just completed a two hour race on Daytona. Celebrating that event that's happening at the moment. So, yeah, I've been watching that. I appreciate you tuning in to watch tonight. What NGR Edu? It's not been his couple of weeks recently I'm just sorting out the stream so if you are watching let us know where you're watching from but the race is starting so just medium cloud throughout the races here as well I didn't have a look how many laps it was going to be as well, so I imagine it's going to be quite a few laps, quite a short track. As I mentioned, should prove to give us some very, very close racing. So you have 16 drivers in at the start as well. Hopefully no one will leave. That means everyone will be tracked properly. But Cam will be wanting a very, very good race tonight. Alan Baldwin should do his best tonight. Well, welcome back, Alan. It's nice to see you back on the racing. Let's just try and find where you are. Shadow Stalker, there he is, Alan Baldwin. One of the original Next Gen family. So very, very good to see him back out on track and racing with us tonight. So it won't be long until we get some time lapse going as well. Oh dear, there's Cam. Getting a little bit of a muddle there in the pits I think wheel might have been turned slightly to the left there yeah he's back in the pits and he will go back out on track a JR Martin definitely one to watch tonight RS Jim is another one of those as well RCF cannot forget about him but Cam for me is the one that has improved immensely throughout this series. And we shall see how he gets on tonight. Stick with us. I know he's picked up a few fans in this series as camp. So I'm sure he'll have them cheering him on tonight. Throwing a little tail cop around this Germany circuit. This is a nice track for these cars. This car just slow in there. Probably letting the traffic go by. Getting a clear run. We're still waiting for times to come in as well. So there's the first one, which is a me NGR Amiga. 
just over a second ahead of NGR Mai, and I'm sure we'll see that gap close. RCF, just over a second behind him there as well, in second though. NGR Fraser is taking fourth. It's NGR Mad Marshall. He'd be pleased with that time at the moment. Without taking anything away from him, he's normally one of the guys at the back. But at the moment, putting in a good time. It'd be nice to see him running up at the front. If he can keep that there, position there. It's Edgy R. Taylor has now jumped in as well. Shadow Stalker is in sixth. Ayatel is in seventh. Fraser pushed down to eighth. And there's Edgy R. Tim, who's just in ninth at the moment. A little bit of two-wheel action there as well. I think he's got a little bit of lag again. RS Jim has moved into second now. Just over half a second. NGL Mart has improved on his time. So the top three within a second at the moment. But Amiga leading the way. Cam is now into fourth. He's running side by side with... Try and find out who that was. It's Ben Sully there in the purple and white. So still to put in a time. Thought Irish Jim had changed his car then. And Joe Scooby still in the pits. Ropski going off road there. Looking through the names there just to see a couple of the regulars missing. Our oh, steam has just closed down on Amiga, knocked a under a second of his time. <laughs> well, he's got 15 minutes left, so plenty of time. Bring it down, and we've seen this with Jamie. Well, gradually get better on each lap most of the time anyway still a couple of people yet to put in time Scooby still yet to leave the pits Suffering with a little bit of lag there. Our team has closed the gap again. As you see with each lap, so it's now knocked it down to three hundredths of a second. I think we've we take that formula into effect. We might see him, um, depending on. I mean, Amiga leaving the pits now. We could see RS Jim take the pole after this lap. Back end coming out a little bit on him there, but keeps it nicely controlled and going the way he wants to. Got Cam who has yet to improve. Cam's back in the pits there. Amiga is back in the pits as well, so this could be the point where we see a new provisional pole. Just a couple of corners left for Jim. Across to the line. Just now. So he doesn't improve. Let's just have a look what his last lap was. Oris Jim, so last lap was a 1.13, so he was a second over his time there actually. So he's 
so that proved my theory completely wrong. Now Cam is still in the pits, Edgy R. Martin within a second, so he's not, not a million miles away on a track like this. Just finding that extra time can prove that bit more difficult. If you are watching, do let us know who you think is going to take pole and who is going to take the win. There's another one of our front runners, RCF. Will we see him improve a little bit of a lock up there from him? section of the track if you get that entry into the right hander wrong it will mess up the rest of the section for you again a little bit of a lock up from look like the rear right of course it's stock set up so RCF moves up to fourth there now pushes NGR Martin down into fifth Look at that between RCF and Cam, not a lot in it whatsoever. All Cam can do is just carry on, do his best now. And John Mad Marshall is now in 11th, but you can see just two and a half seconds between him and first. So, not that far to go, RS Jim. Just that's in the pits now. Just can will Cam improve on his lap time now? No, he stays where he is. Well, throws it round the first corner there. Not probably not the quickest way. But it looked good. RCF now jumped into third place there. RS Jim is next target. So I mean that will definitely add pressure to Cam there. He must be thinking what he can do to find that extra time. As I said, half a second on this track. is quite a lot of time to find a wheel, two wheel action on the grass there don't know whether that will discount the lap nothing's come up to say it has and I think he's just improved on his lap time just a little bit there yes he did Sadly, that's not enough to move him up, though. But at least he's moving in the right direction. NGR Taylor with a good time there. He's currently in sixth place. NGR Scooby down in tenth. NGR Scooby this season seems to have struggled in qualifying, but race he has done what's needed to be done he's had a couple of good podiums that corner one is a very tricky corner RS Jim still not able to find that time to take it the top spot off Amiga at the moment Cam has just improved again. Very good improvement there from Cam. Two wheel action around corner one and corner two. That's probably going to sacrifice this lap for him, unfortunately. So 
sometimes you can push just that little bit too hard. Just approaching the seven minute mark now, left in qualifying. And RCF just locking up going into that corner. And just give me moved up to six there. Still outside it. NGL Taylor improved on his lap time there as well. For the person that probably wants to improve the most, but still staying where he is is RS Jim 77. Great camera shot that. See if Tim can improve on this lap time now. It's at this point now that the lads will be looking at the clock. And we'll be realising that, I mean, he's just really, really improved there. Very, very close to Amiga. And yeah, Mad Marshall, I think that was, he's just took a cone out. Well, Amiga's had that time pretty much since the start now, so can he improve? He won't by doing that, unfortunately. If you are just tuning in, this is... Max Coates Cleo Cup brought to you by Next Gen Racing. Qualifying session almost over. Straight to racing. Cam is in the pits. He's back out now. See if Jim can improve now. stays where he is so message from Edu there come on Martin push 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 so as I mentioned for Edu sadly not racing with us tonight he did the he had a two hour Daytona race for us just before this could have been a track that suited Edu well but I'm sure we'll see him back with us next week Just three minutes left to go. Edge I might stay in where he is just at this moment in time. I think that's NGR Scooby. Nose in the pits. Joe Taylor is in the pits. RCF's now gone into the pits as well. RCM doing the right thing and staying out there.
OCF back out on track. Thankfully, we've been short a lot of times. If you do need to pit in just before the end of time, you can get back out and get a couple of laps put in. But those fresh tyres will not make it easy for you to improve. Cam has now jumped into third as well. So Edgy Taylor with comments there. The lagging driver is going to cause chaos. I can come and see it already. Not sure. It's NGR Tim. Not sure what's going on there. Is that is that lag? We'll have to keep an eye on that. Hopefully it won't cause problems for anyone. Here comes Cam across the line. Is he going to improve again? No, stays where he is. RS Jim is now in the pits. But there's nothing else he could do. NG Armiga's pretty much held on to this top spot throughout. Very good lap time from him then. And that's RCF who's just gone past him. Back end coming out. Uh, that's definitely going to sacrifice that lap unfortunately for him. Although I have been proved wrong before. Now he's got time to do another lap though. And Amiga staying out as well. See if he can improve. Cam is going to be pushing very hard on this. It's now or never. You might as well just go for it now. And unfortunately that is what happens. And you just push a bit too hard. Cam slows down there, unfortunately. I think going off just discounted that lap. It's a shame for him. RCF still out on track. I mean, one of these guys down here, Shadow Stalker, Ropsky, Greener Army, could maybe throw something into the mix. Stick with RCF though. He's got Ajo Amiga just behind him. Oh, I think both tyres went off beyond the white line there. I think NGR Amiga has done enough here to secure the top spot. Yeah, these guys all AI driving at the moment. So well done to NGR Amiga 1984. Amiga, when things go right for him, things certainly go right for him. But when you've got the likes of Jim, Cam, RCF and Martin. I mean, not taking anything away from these guys either. I mean, that that top ten is, is quite a formidable top ten. Amiga lights go on there, blazing. Hopefully everyone will make it through corner one without any problems. In the distance there, not sure what's happened. But Ropsky stuck down the line. Got in the way of AGR Tim there as well. Oh no, that is chaos in the front corner. Trying to make head to tail of what happened there? Just can't work out what happened there at all. Oh no, what's going on here as well? I 
maybe some talk at the start, but RS Gym down in fifth at the moment. Camera isn't moving, it's caught up with him now though. But MJ Amiga has stayed where he started. Camera's got into second. They're maybe talking points from that corner one incident though. I've raced on this track quite a few times. So they approach it just for a second time. 26 laps of the race there as well. So should be about half an hour of racing for us tonight. RCF Polo is down in fifth. And he's got Scooby just behind him. Pretty sure it was Scooby's car that was flung into the air on, on lap one. But again, without having a rewind feature, it's quite hard to work out what's happened. And we could probably spend half an hour looking at corner one. Well, up there, Cam pushing very hard. And NGR Martin is really bringing the pressure to him here. They actually look like they're pulling away from RS Gym a little bit as well, which is a no easy feat. Cam has got a formidable opponent who is racing up behind him. Looks like they're gaining on Amiga there as well. Cam showing very good pace at the moment. He's going to be getting a nice slipstream off Amiga down this straight. I think Edgyar Martin has a slowdown penalty there. The guys are just going to eat this up. And he's pushed all the way down to sixth place. He won't be happy about that. But I'll tell you who will be happy, RS Jim. It's allowed to move up and really give some breathing space to the cam. Now he can just concentrate on bringing this fight to Amiga. Amiga locking up there as well. Back end coming slightly out on him. Both locking up there into this hard right hander. Is Cam going to be able to get past? And is he going to be able to keep it there? Amiga showing what he could do in qualifying. So he's certainly not going to be able to. He's certainly not going to make it easy for Cam to get past. Cam taking a wide line through that corner there, trying to get the fastest exit as he can. Amiga trying to move out the way. But Cam taking a wide entry into the corner. He's trying to get it. he's gonna get up the inside here and he's gonna get Edge out in front. Cam has done it. But Amiga is still on him here. He's going to go try and go for the switch back here. You can see gravel on the track. Dirt, so that's going to make that corner slippy. You need to be careful whereabouts you drive around there. It looks like Jimmy is gaining on a little bit here. And Edgyar Martin still down in six, but he's got Edgyar Scooby just in front of him here, so he's managed to catch up a little bit to these guys. You can see that part of the track's very slippy. There's a lot of dirt on the track there where people have gone off and brought gravel back on. So that'll make that part of the track. Oh, a little bit of a lock-up. Back end gets up a little bit out of a shape for Edgyar Martin there. That's the corner to give him the slowdown penalty just before. Lucky for Scooby though, not the case on this lap. Joe might not want to get past Scooby, probably feels like he's got a bit more pace than him. And RCF is just slightly pulling away as these two scrap it out. Not what NGR Martin wants at all. Edgyar Fraser, a bit of a distance between the guy in front and the guy behind, Ayatel. He's got Ben Sully, 
and Lee W07 just behind him there as well. Well, really, you can see how close it is throughout this field. It only takes one mistake and you'll lose a hell of a lot of places. And we'll see that happen before in this Clio Cup series. Both had screeching tyres going into the last corner there. But Cam looking very controlled at the moment. Was able to put a little bit of distance between him and Amiga. Huge lock up from Cam there as he breaks hard into that first corner. And then straight onto corner two and then round corner three. Ayatel has got Ben Sully bringing the fight to him here. He's got Lee W07 just behind him. Ben getting out a bit wide there. Doesn't look like he's been issued with a slowdown penalty though. Is Ben going to try and make a move? No, thinks better of it. Nice defensive drive from Ayatel here. up a little bit of dirt as two wheels touch the grass oh, a little bit out of shape going into the corner there he manages to hold it well though Ben Sully just sticking to him here though just applying pressure try and force a mistake from Ailtel is Ben Sully going to be able to get past here? Side by side as they approach corner one, last of the late breakers. Oh, here tell still just in front, maybe in the camera angle, a bit deceiving there. Both got two wheels though, Ben Sully's lost an opportunity there. back with the front runners and Horace Jim not really making any ground near his RCF so Cam doing very well now Amiga has lost a hell of a lot of ground there whether he got a bit of a slowdown penalty maybe or he made a little bit of a mistake I didn't notice anything but Cam has pulled away from him a hell of a lot there it's allowed RS Jim to catch back up to Amiga The moment Cam running very well. Ayatel and Ben Sully still battling out here as well. Oh, that's a slowdown penalty for Ayatel. Uh, be gutted about that. Lee W07 is going to be able to get past him here as well. He's able to get going now. He'll, he'll be gutted about that. NGR Mad Marshall, NGR Taylor having a little battle here as well. Nice to see some action from the guys that we don't normally really get to see because it's normally going on all at the front. But, you know, we do try and capture as much of the action for you all as possible. Is Andrew Taylor going to be able to make a move stick here? Mad Marshall getting through those first two corners. So he's put a little bit of space between him and NGR Taylor. Back end just steps out just a little bit, just feather the throttle, get under control. Now you can just see the difference between the front runners. There's obviously a lot more aggressive braking going on with the front runner guys. A lot more comfortable in the car. Oh, back end getting out all sideways through the corner there from Mad Marshall. Keeps it going well though, NGR Taylor. Not really looking like he's closed the gap up at all on him there. Amiga still able to keep RS Jim at bay. RCF and NGR Martin now having a fight. Joe Martin has done well from when he got that slowdown penalty to catch back up to these guys. So he's shown very good pace tonight. I 
looked a little bit more controlled going into that corner. That section of the track looks like RCF might be slightly faster through that section just then. Let's put a little bit of distance between him and Martin. RCF trying to get out of the way for the slipstream there. Heavy breaking into these first two corners. This is very close at the moment. On board with NGR Martin now, just show you how close it looks for the drivers. Lock up from RCF as he brakes hard. Nice line from NGR Martin there. That's a night, nice, really nice line. Just a little dab of the brakes. That corner's a lot faster than what you actually think it is. This is good driving from NGR Martin, he's really applying the pressure to RCF, but RCF is acting like a sponge and just soaking it all the way up at the moment. So let's go back on cockpit just to show you these first two corners. NGR Martin's going to have him on the inside here. RCF is going to have the inside line for this corner. Still just out in front, just a tad. Good defensive driving from RCF here at the moment to keep NGR Martin at bay. Lap 11 of 26. And the Max Coates Clear Cup coming from Oschersleben. Or Oschersleben, however it's pronounced. RCF getting a good run out of that corner. Puts a bit more distance in between him. Angel Martin at the moment. RS Jim has managed to get into second. But did he manage to get into second before? But Cam having the drive of his life, he is approaching traffic now. Oh, Oris Jim getting out of shape. This is going to really help Amiga here. Amiga's going to go down the inside. He is going to creep in front, I feel. There he goes out in front. Those first two corners can make or break it. We still see the distance. RCF and NGR Martin still battling out here as well. And we've got NGR Fraser and NGR Scooby. These two know each other very well. Bit of a light flashing from each other there. I think they're saying good battle. These two have raced each other for a long time now. They know how each other one works. So when these two get close together, it guarantees you for some very close racing. I think Scooby has a slow down penalty. This is going to allow Ben Sully to creep past. Ah, that's a real shame for him there as well. Looked like he was gearing up for quite a fight. That's a back marker they were passing there. Oh, I see. I've got a little bit out of shape. That's going to allow Martin, but couldn't capitalise on it. He's right on his line, so he couldn't get past. But he will keep bringing this fright to him. Smoke billowing from the tyres of both drivers there. John Green on YouTube saying camp for the win. I think with the drive he's having at the moment, 
if you're a betting man you'd throw a few quid on it at least Mad Marshall, Mad Marshall still got NGR Taylor barking down on him here. I think that's Ropsky. Yeah, that's the back market they've just passed, so through without any trouble. I think NGR Martin feels that he's probably got some pace that if he could get past RCF he may be able to catch up to the guy in front but I mean RCF is definitely not slow around this track but there's just times when NGR Martin's just not the faster out the two of them on that sector there, I would definitely say RCF is the fastest out the two, though. And that's where he's getting his breathing space from every lap. Cam still leading the way. He's got some traffic coming up. He's just passed Tim as well. He was lagging during qualifying. Hope that won't cause any problems for RS Gyms just behind him. Now RCF has put a little bit of distance between him and NGR Martin. Back with NGR Mad Marshall and NGR Taylor here. Angel Taylor in the monster. This is Nichols Hamilton's Cleo Cup car. And Mad Marshall in the white and yellow. Oh, mistake there from Mad Marshall. Is Taylor going to be able to take advantage of that? Certainly allowed him to close up a little bit. Taylor going for a wider entry into that corner. Just keeping it controlled. He's not pushing too hard. I think it's just plans just to stick with him. Hopefully force our mistake out of Mad Marshall. Oh, did I curse him there? Is that going to give him a slowdown penalty? I mean, he isn't taking one just yet. Could be a lucky escape from the penalty system, that. Oh, what's, what's, what's going off a little bit there as well? Oh, moves back in front of him. Don't know whether NGR Taylor had to break hard to avoid contact there. Could have been risky driving by Mad Marshall that though. I don't know, maybe I cursed him when I said it could force a mistake. It all seemed to go tumbling down from him on that point there. I see the yellow and black car of Shadow Stalker. Oh, he moves out of the way for the for the traffic. Gets out of the way. Lovely there, actually. Nice bit of back marker dodging. Shadow Stalker, one of those drivers that will sacrifice his own race to get out the way of the front guys as he's in there, moved onto the grass, spun his car around. But RCF and Edgel Martin have cut up to Amiga here, so now Amiga's podium spot is at risk from two very, very good drivers. 
and the way these two are driving the stick to each other like glue I think if one takes a spot the other's going to jump in front of him as well RCF we're getting a nice slipstream here Careful of those curbs. RCF and Amiga pulled slightly away from NGL Martin. It looks like there anyway, they have. But only very, very slightly. I think RCF is. I thought he was going to make a move, but NGL Amiga. Managed to cover his lines there. This is the battle for third. We're on lap 18 of 26. RCF really throwing the car around in those corners. He's very, very fast in that sector. Didn't get the best entry into that corner though. Saying that though, he's still with Amiga. Oh, RCF getting a little bit out of shape here. That's allowed NGL Martin to close up. Keeps it going though. Last thing you want is to make a mistake and lose all that you fought so hard for in the race to get sometimes though you just have to push very hard but it's that fine balance of pushing too hard and pushing over the limit We have seen races this season where even on the penultimate lap, the last lap, drivers have just pushed too hard and they've lost a lot of places from it. Cam leading just over three seconds at the moment on RS Gym. RCF. Sticks his elbows out there. Is Edgy Armin able to capitalise on this? No, Edgy Armiga slots in, into the middle of him. I think Amiga gets the back end out. Oh, I think Edgy Armin had to slow down there to avoid any contact. See Amiga just gearing up here. He's ready to make a move. Is that a slowdown penalty for him? Oh no. I think Edge Armart, and I don't know. It's hard to, to know what went on there, but I think Edge Armart will be slightly frustrated the way he just swung out in front of him. Amiga trying to stick to RCF. He's getting a good slipstream here. He's not going to be able to get in front before the corner, though. Defensive line there from Amiga to stop Angel Martin getting past. I think this battle is going to go right down to the wire. Dirt kicked up there. Now uh, we've got some penalties there. So NGL Mighty is on a two second penalty. 
so really even if he gets in front he really needs to put down some pace to get quite ahead of these guys to make that place stick I mean thankfully where he is at the moment fifth he won't drop down further than that with his penalties oh no that's Amiga getting out of shape there German still not able to get past him though and that has given RCF some massive breathing space there. It'll probably be a huge sigh of relief from RCF. We can now just concentrate at least, at least a little bit on what's going on just in front of him. And not so much what's going on at the back as well. All three locking up going into that corner though. NGR Mad Marshall has managed to shake off. NGR Taylor as well. Oh, NGR Martin able to save that from getting too much out of shape. But sadly, we'll lose some time in the process as well. Excuse me while I just have a sup and we brew. Oh, gets a little bit out of shape there as well. I think concentration has now dropped. But it's times like this where you just need to get your head down and just keep on fighting. You don't know what's going to happen to the guys in front. But I mean, Cam has had a sterling drive this race. Looks like he avoided any of the, the corner one incident on lap one. And managed to just get through and pull away. But credit to him. He got in front of Jim and he's managed to stay there. But the battle for third is definitely not over. Amiga is going to be fighting for this all the way down. I think Amiga feels will feel that the podium spot is at least what he deserves. He led the whole way pretty much through qualifying. Oh, that's RCF getting a little bit out of shape. And JR Mega looking a bit more controlled around those first two corners. They've got a little bit of traffic up in front just to contend with. NGL team, yeah, he's just moved out of the way then completely onto the grass. And RCF will be very thankful for that. But we're now approaching the penultimate lap. Jamiga just getting two wheels on the dirt there. Can Amiga find that little extra push that is needed? So there's no penalties for RCF or Amiga. But Angie Taylor is now back with Mad Marshall as well. So I mean. The front guys are approaching these two are having a battle. And this is where being a back marker comes in very difficult. You don't want to sacrifice your own race too much. But you definitely don't want to get in the way of the front runner guys who are also in a battle. This is going to be a tricky call. I mean, thankfully... They're now approaching the last lap. 
is there enough of a gap where these two can avoid it? I would say not. I would say these two are going to catch up with our flashing the lights to say, go on, get past. Get past now, NGR Martin saying. Angel Migas caught right back up here on the last lap. This is going to be a last lap battle for third place, boys and girls. NGR Mad Marshall has carried on. Angel Mad Marshall doesn't know what to do here. He's moved just to let him pass. I think RCF has got this unless he makes a mistake on these last two corners. One corner left to go. Cam has taken the win. RS Jim taking second. We have to stick with this though to see if it, how it unfolds. RCF is going to take third. And Joe Megan will take fourth. And Joe Martin will take fifth. And Joe Scooby sixth. And Joe Fraser seventh. Ben Sully eighth. EW 9th, Ayatel 10th, Taylor 11th, Mad Marshall in 12th. Oh, did he manage to get in front in the end then? Oh, it's a turn up for the books. Brodsky still racing there. Sano Stalker ending with a little bit of rally cross. And NGR Tim rounds it off. It Greener Army retired to the pits. And Jogger, just mentioned it on YouTube there. Well done, Cam, for the win. Yes, very well done to Cam. Exceptional drive. RCF. I have three second penalty at the end. So that did put Amiga into third place in the end then. Sadly, not enough for Ed with Angel Martin having those two second penalty. Keeps him in fifth. Well, there we go. Angel Amiga managed to get his podium place in the end thanks to the penalty system. Turn up for the books there. Well, that brings this round of the Max Coates Clear Cup to an end. If you are new to the channel, do subscribe. Click the little bell to get notifications of when we go live as well. As always, Clear Cup returns next Saturday, half past eight. So do tune in then and stick with us for more Project Cars 2 and Gran Turismo Sport and a set of course of action from us at Next Gen. But as always, thank you very much for tuning in and we'll catch you guys soon.